E3 is always an exciting time for gamers. I will give them a grade based on these three categories. The presentation as an entertaining piece of media by itself, the trailers for the games presented, and the hype that I feel after said conference. Let's see the final standings for our E3 conferences. This is Bottles. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Uh, we're, we're interrogating Mrs. <laughs> Asshole. Reluctantly. Reluctantly. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Excuse me, we already, we already pressed, we already talked about this. We saw a guy in the suit. Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking pass by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, right? No one else went there. No one! What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them! What do you mean that you would have seen them? You were already... <laughs> Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. But you were with everybody else, so how would they have seen him? That's right, Sonny! You let him have it, Edgy Boy! It, edgy Boy. <laughs> Old windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Maya! Sorry. <laughs> that was so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> Nick, oh. I'm underage. In this I'm, game. I'm saying what you did was sexy. I'm not saying that you are... Forget it. Anyway. Can you call me a... <laughs> I'm, I'm only making it worse. <laughs> Old old windbags has that. Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details. After all, or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Did her psych meter go down? It sounded like something from <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Four, where like whenever yeah. something shitty happens to the snake, he just feels depressed and his meter goes down. Some, uh, something for you to look forward to, perhaps. The time of poor Hammer's death was- oh, it started over. Oh, okay, that was like her- Maybe press the first thing, because I think that's the only thing you haven't pressed. It's good- it's usually good to press on everything, just to make sure that isn't like the story beat, you know? Yeah. And how do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective! And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything! I see. Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Huh. Uh... So there has to be a contradiction somewhere. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. And I, I know that I know, like, who the killers <laughs> are every time, but I swear to you, I don't remember how we get there. Uh-huh. If Will Powers was the only one to go mm. into Studio One, mm -hmm. why did why was his key card still in his bag? That's what I was saying before. Why was his why was his key still in the bag if yeah. he was going to Studio One? Uh but wait, would that go against this statement? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. That time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. Is that true? When did Hammer die? If they had, I, I would have seen, seen them. Oh, oh, no, I thought there was another statement about her locking the place up. No. Shut up. All right, I get it. 
I want to try and make it through this series without having to look at a walkthrough. Two. The only person I saw go to the studio. I think... I think that's what we need to use. No. No. This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? Because I said- I decided that they were. <laughs> they aren't, aren't they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that would make any points with the judge. The only person I saw go into the studio before then was Will Powers. What, what, what do we have for evidence? Thankfully, in this game, even though it's going to change for subsequent games, mm -hmm. we don't have to present profiles. Profiles? <gasps> yes. Is this? Maybe, because think about it. No one else got into the stu- No one else passed through the studio. Then why is this photo number two? Oh, we never got to see the second one. Yeah. Or the first one, I should say. Would this be contradicting this statement, though? Uh, wait, maybe go- to, I, Maybe it's the statement that's like... Uh, no. Maybe the next one? No one, one else, else went, went there. there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Objection! Yeah! Yeah. Let's go. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. <laughs> one more time! That was two musical references rapid fire. Sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sirree, Sonny! So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground! Right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in- no, the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. Really? That, oh, <laughs> he actually. Oh, so, oh really? Well, fuck this badge. <laughs> no, I'm keeping it. Uh, I'm keeping it, but I'm not being a lawyer anymore. <laughs> that very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number two. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 o'clock p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be number one if it really was the only photo? Oh shit, maybe he right, though. <laughs> oh fuck, i have been fired! Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. What I'm saying is, sir, that one comes before two. Actually, <laughs> that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Yeah! You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem. <laughs> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Huh? B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Some help you are. Ad him admitting that he doesn't know something? Uh, <laughs> Great. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah! That's right! I... I just remembered something! Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. 
<sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. M Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. I'm glad he's taking, like, just as much stress out of this as we are. <laughs> you can't predict old bag. <laughs> well, of course, Sonny! I only just remembered it! Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected. I... but I kind of expected this. Good. You should keep doing that. You know that. what? That, that, that literally is just the line from the Sonic movie. Well, I didn't expect that. But I expected not to expect something, so it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Come to think of it? Couldn't she think of that a little earlier? Classic old windbag maneuver, my Hmm. Might be a useful tactic to remember for use in my future career as a windbag. Windbag? Let's find out more about this erased photo. Yes, I agree. Yes. Can I, like, skip to the end? Oh, oh, shit. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's come to think of it. All right, hang on. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? And Chum Chum. <laughs> <laughs> Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. When was there that day? A Oh, well. <laughs> Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gates so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Oh, we know about this one. Yep. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the train? I told you they were freaks! Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. <sighs> what?! Order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right! As I said, I didn't pay him much mind! He's That's still why... important. That's why I erased the data! Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. No, but it does make him a person of interest. Yeah, and they're probably trying to unsuspect him, as it were. I'd like to take a five-minute recess. Yay! Recess! <laughs> I'm, I'm going on the swings I'm first! Swing. No! No, I am. No, I'm going on the swings Bit. right, and you can't stop me! It's the third person comes in, there's two swing sets. <laughs> Objection! Objection! I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time! 
or bringing in any new evidence, Please. Edgeworth. Just or Phoenix Wright. Just give me any evidence you have now. I'm so confused. I'm 83. I retire next year. I've used up half my medication that I was supposed to use. October 18th, 11.08 oh, a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Oh, that's you. Fuck. Mr. WP. Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I... I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So, who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really? What? You should take better care of that stuff! I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? Doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else who could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You... Don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> You're stressing me out, man. You're my lawyer. <laughs> Please, give me some hope. <laughs> the court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. Okay. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. Luckily, I just procured him. He was actually just outside the hall. <laughs> I kidnapped him myself. The photo we do the photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? <laughs> Very well. Very He's well guilty. guilty. <laughs> <laughs> the defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Oh, we're gonna put... Uh, Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind, however. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? Honestly? The only person I can think of is the assistant girl, because her- she- she likes the actor that died. There would be no reason for her to murder her. Imagine- that's a- that's like asking- that's like asking a- a, a, a Jack Nicholson fan to somehow- Like- like that's like- that's like saying a Jack Nicholson fan would kill Jack Nicholson to make another actor that they don't like bad. Yeah. It is really weird. I don't think it's the security lady, truthfully. I, I, we've never met the schoolboy, I don't know. That and he can't lift the sphere. Are you sure it wasn't like multiple schoolboys? At that, once. At once. And that they were, were like, we and gotta they were, kill they were on the top, magistrate. And, what if, and they were on top of each other. And they looked like another older person? Are we sure? Was he doing adult things and working at company? Yes. <laughs> Does he do business? <laughs> Was he and working? date cat girls. <laughs> I think it's the assistant girl. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, your honor. Objection! Objection! 
<laughs> if you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh! Uh oh Bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Powers' injury! Powers and poor Hammer were at the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? The assistant was also there. Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Oh, shit. So then that leaves you. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the Steel Samurai- She could look the Steel Samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk! She wouldn't have limped! Ugh. That kind of takes the legs out from under that case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I walk. But it doesn't make sense to... Uh, whatever, well, I guess we're getting another day, but may like... we move on, Mr. Wright? You could easily argue that she... That's my... <laughs> this, this case is stupid. <laughs> Very well, go ahead. So who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the crime? It would have to be the security lady, even though that makes less sense. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag! Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. That's a- oh. <laughs> The security lady, <sighs> old bag. <sighs> what? Whipper snapper. Order, order. I is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the samurai costume. And then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder, even though it makes no sense because she actually likes the actor. That, that's fine, we just have to make a convincing argument. We know it's not her. <laughs> Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, your honor. <laughs> she knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Also, the judge doesn't know that she's his fan. Oh yeah, right there! Sherlock Holmes too, baby! Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he actually- doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? I have new evidence! No! <laughs> the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Itchy boy, don't just sit there, do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Press further. Give Granny a break. <laughs> I don't think she did it, though. That's the thing. Well, that- here's the thing. Phoenix made it very clear that we know she didn't do it, but we have to make it seem that way so that we can get another well, day. Well, I don't know if he thinks that. He just wants to get another day. I don't know if he actually thinks that he that, that I don't. She did I don't it. think he does. He never said specifically whether or not he actually thinks she did it. I, I think that Phoenix's only goal right now is to stall so that we can have another day to get, gather more evidence. In any case, pressing further would probably lead to more information. True that. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Baggs' actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? Here it comes. You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. That is true. He does he have a point. He doesn't have a motive to do it. Just because he's the Steel Samurai doesn't mean he actually hates him. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Wait just a minute! 
What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? He was actually in sixth grade. <gasps> that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds! Tops! Are you confessing to like, another <laughs> another crime? Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or... Oh, or is it be nice to kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. P proof Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Uh... Oh, I know. I'm not gonna tell First you, but by I know. A through to the chest by a spear. Uh... <laughs> no, it's not the badge. It's not the badge. <laughs> Dragging one leg. Oh, it might be that too. Why would it... Oh wait, no, never mind. What is this? This is the guide map. I have my own deductive reasoning. I don't know if it's correct, but it makes sense to me. I feel like the photo would be the best thing That's to... not of him though, we already know that. But we also know it's not of the boy. Well, yeah, well, the photo of the boy was erased, remember? Shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Maury, can I ask a question? Sure. That, this, this is, again, I don't know if this is correct. I'm not telling you what the answer is. I'm telling you what I think the answer is. Mm -hmm. Uh, what did we need to do to get into Studio One? To get the card. So the boy would have to get the card, right? Yeah. I was, that's what I was thinking, but, like, what would that prove? Because if he doesn't have a key card, how does he get inside? He could have went through the vent, right? The vent only just brings you into the studio, like, like main gate. Doesn't get you into the studio. Right, because his body was in the studio. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you're right. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation with the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. He doesn't even remember. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. All right. Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! <laughs> oh, great. Stop the presses. <clears throat> the windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? The murder. <laughs> Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Uh-huh. You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? That's another first. Well, testify! Man, I know I already slammed the hammer thingy and said goodbye, but like, this is cool. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm really invested in I'm this really story I'm really invested in this, in this drama. <laughs> Re Wendy, st spill the tea! Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Alright, yeah, I buy that. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. 
Why did you keep this from the court until now? So she could keep her job. Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Th witness the, the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Lobo Whoa. Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. So, you were told not to talk. That's right! By the studio and TV bigwigs, no less! Why didn't I hear about this? Because she was told not to. How are we not following this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it! The there truth were... the truth was, the game was rigged from the start! <laughs> there were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Who? Wh who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2, wasn't there? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where Monkey's head had fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Yeah, let's, let's just keep looking at everything. Alright. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day! When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. <laughs> Kill this woman, I swear it's, it's not her fault. She was trying to <laughs> she was trying to keep her job. But she's annoying. I feel sorry for Edgeworth almost. She really left him hanging on this one. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! What do you mean by that? Them? Who were these people? <laughs> well, the director and the producer for starters. The director? We should have. Okay, this, okay, is, the same yeah, this thing. is the same thing. There's multiple ways to get to this. Yeah. Point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate this woman. <laughs> I guess we're done. Bite! No. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you my badge! I am a lawyer! We have learned that there were others at the Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer, and uh, some bigwigs, were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. For real this time. But wait! No! You've got to get in my trap card, I Judge. want to go home <laughs> and eat my lean cuisine. October 18th, 1.04 p.m., District Court, whatever. But thank you so much, Mr. Wright. You're welcome, Lion. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, or should I... <laughs> what? Because he sniffs all the time. Oh, right. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to go find out more about this director and producer. 
they'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? No. Could it really have been Old Windbag? Hell no. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Yeah, me neither. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for her too, as annoying as she is. <laughs> well, she wasn't winning any points in there with or without uh, my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! We'll be back to visit you I soon. I will be back. You're not going to come with me. What? Why? Because I don't like you. Alright, they're step ladders. <laughs> Just ladders. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> don't mock me. I have a... I need to get my adenoids removed. Oh no, I was I was sniffing some cocaine off my finger. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I, I, won't, I won't interrupt you then. <laughs> <laughs> October 18th, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Phoenix really didn't want to do this case either. No, he, he wasn't really into it. Whew, what a day. And we're going to continue this day next time. There's This is no time for relaxing, Nick, because we need to end the episode. If you like the video, <laughs> like it, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this one, and hit that bell. If you want to see more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney as it comes out, check him in the iCard. We've played other games like Hotel Dusk Room 215. The playlist will be there. Uh, we have a bunch of social medias. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a Discord server. The Discord server is the best place to get all GCN news. We post whenever we upload a video on any of our channels, as well as uh, you can just talk to us about video games or make requests for what you want to see on the channel. Also, subscribe to the other channel to get more content that isn't Let's Plays. Question of the day. Which actor would you kill to make another actor look better? Or worse? <laughs> I would kill Jack Black to make Kyle Gass look bad. <laughs> so that means you like Jack Black. I do love Jack Black. Enough to make him want to look better by killing the other per or rather By killing Frank? him? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I don't even know why I asked that question, but please tell <laughs> but us. But please tell us in the comments below. I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Continue.